Hi there. This video is an exam paper walkthrough of the EDUCAS GCSE Mathematics Foundation Tier Component 1 paper from Summer 2023. This paper is worth 120 marks in total and this is the sixth video of six. It will focus on questions 20 to 25 which account for 25 of these marks. EDUCAS Component 1 papers are non-calculator papers, so a calculator should not be used. A little disclaimer, there may be more than one way to answer a question. The methods shown in this video are not the only way some mathematical skills can be applied. OK, let's get started. Question 20. James has been on holiday to the USA and is flying home to the UK. The price of a gift in a shop at the airport is $65. The price of the same gift online is €60, Euros including delivery. On the day of his flight, the exchange rates were as follows. 80 pence is equal to $1, £1 pound is equal to €1.2. Is it cheaper to buy the gift at the airport or online? So what we're going to do, we're going to convert both of these to pounds. Okay, so let's start with the dollars so we're going to go from dollars to pounds so pounds dollars so 0 0.8 is one dollar we've got 65 dollars so we would times by 65 so 0 0.8 times 65 well 0 0.8 times 10 is 8 so 8 times 6 is 48, and then we need the 5, which is going to be half of this. 0 0.8 times 5 is 4. So we're going to add the 4, which gets us to 52 pounds. Okay. Now we're going to convert, convert the euros to pounds. So let's just add onto this table here. So we've got 1 pound is 1.2 euros. So if we've got 60 euros, we need to figure out how to go from 1.2 to 60. So we're going to do 60 divided by 1.2. So 1.2 times 10 is 12, and 12 times 5 is 60. So 10 times 5 must be 50. So that's times by 50. So when we times this by 50, we get 50 pounds. 52 pounds compared to 50 pounds, well, it would be cheaper to buy it online at 50 pounds. Question 21. The diagram shows a quadrilateral, so we've got this four-sided shape. Use algebra to find the size of the exterior angle Y. So if we can find this angle here, this angle and y both add up to 180 because it's a straight line. So we're going to form an equation for the angles inside this shape. So we've got 60 plus x plus 75 plus 85 plus x plus 70. And because it's a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape, they should all add up to 360. So we're going to simplify this. So we've got x plus x, so we have 2x, 60 plus 75 plus 85 plus 70, so that's 10, 8, 16, 23, 29, so 2x plus 290 equals 360, we're now going to solve this for x, so the inverse of adding 290 would be to subtract 290, and the inverse of multiplying by 2 would be to divide by 2. So x is equal to 35. So 35 plus 70, substituting that x value in, tells us that this angle is 105. These are on a straight line. So 180 subtract 105 is 75 degrees. So y must be 75 degrees. 22a. Use the diagram to solve the following simultaneous equation. So we've got two linear graphs that intersect here. We need to use this graph to solve these simultaneous equations. So these equations here match 
what the lines are labelled on the graph. So the solutions are the x and y coordinates where the two lines intersect. Now you'll see here it says give your answer correct to one decimal place. It's because we don't have an exact um, scale here when we try and find our values. So this is going to be our x value. So from 0 to 1 is 10 spaces. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So x is 0 0.8. And then when we go across the y from that point of intersection, you can see it's slight it's somewhere in the middle there. So 1.1234 1.45 1 but it wants it to one decimal place, so I'm going to round that to 1.5. Part B. The diagram shows the curve y equals x squared, add 2x, subtract 8. So we've got this quadratic curve here. Part 1. Write down the y-intercept of the curve. So the y-intercept is where the curve crosses the y-axis, which is here at minus 8. We can also identify that from the equation, that constant that we add or subtract on the end. Find the coordinates of the turning point of the curve. So the turning point is the point of symmetry. Okay, So we can identify the point of symmetry, the x-coordinate, because it would be halfway between the two roots. So halfway between minus 4 and 2. So 1, 2. So halfway between minus 4 and 2 is minus 1. So the x-coordinate of the turning point, I just draw that down here, this point here, this point, this line of symmetry, the x coordinate is negative 1. And I can now substitute that into the equation of the curve to find the y coordinate that accompanies it. So x squared, so minus 1 squared, because we've said our x coordinate is minus 1. Add 2 times minus 1, so 2 times x, subtract 8. Negative 1 squared is 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then we've got subtract 8. So 1 subtract 2 is negative 1. Subtract 8 is negative 9. So the turning point has a coordinate of negative 1, negative 9. So let's use the diagram to solve x squared add 2x subtract 8. So the solutions are where it crosses the x-axis. So we've got here at negative 4 and here at positive 2. Question 23. The surface area of the Earth is 5.101 times 10 to the power of 8 kilometres squared. The Earth's oceans are 70.9% of this surface area. Estimate the surface area of the Earth's oceans. Give your answer in standard form. So because we're estimating, I'm going to make these into numbers I can deal easier with. So we're going to say that surface area of Earth is 5 times 10 to the power of 8. We're rounding this 5.101 to 1 significant figure. And then the Earth's oceans will say are 70%. So 70.9 to 1 significant figure will be 70%. So 5 times 10 to the power of 8 is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So 70% would be this divided by 100 and then times by 7. So if we divide this by 100, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have 5 times 10 to the power of 6, but then we're going to multiply this by 7, which becomes 35 times 10 to the power of 6. It wants our answer in standard form. This is not in standard form because this first number needs to be between 1 and 10. So I'm going to have to divide this by 10 to make it 3.5, which means I need to increase that power by 1 because I need to multiply it by another 10 if I was going to convert it back to a normal number. Question 24. The diagram shows a fair spinner. Eve spins it twice. What is the probability that the spinner lands on red both times? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sections on the spinner. And the probability that it lands on red is 1, 2 out of 8. 
So if, if Eve spins it twice, the first time landing on a red is two out of eight possibility. And then the second time is also two out of eight possibility. Multiply in fractions, we multiply the denominators. So two times two, multiply the numerators. So we have four over 64 as our probability. Question 25. The table shows some information about the cost per person to take a boat across a river. So adults are represented by A, children are represented by C. The Jones family of four adults and one child pay £9.50. The Patel family of five adults and two children pay £13. The Lee family has three adults and two children. How much does the Lee family pay to take the boat? You must use an algebraic method and show all of your working. So I'm going to form two simultaneous equations using this information here. So for the Jones family, we've got four adults plus one child, and that's £9.50. The Patel family have got five adults and two children for £13. So I'm going to solve these equations now to find the cost of an adult and a child. So I'm going to multiply this one by 2, so it becomes 8a plus 2c equals £19. And then I'm going to rewrite the Patel's equation underneath. So what I've got here are two equations where the c variable matches. So they're both positive here, so I'm going to subtract these equations away from each other to eliminate the c. So 8a subtract 5a is 3a, 2c subtract 2c eliminates it, 19 subtract 13 is £6. So if 3a is £6, if I divide by 3, it tells me that an adult is £2. So now that I know an adult is £2, I'm going to substitute it into one of these equations to find out what a child is. So let's use this first equation. So 4 times 2 plus C is £9.50. 8 plus C is £9.50. So C is £9.50 subtract 8, which is £1.50. So an adult is £2, a child is £1.50. So the Lee family has three adults. So 3 times that £2 that we've worked out. And they have two children, so 2 times £1.50, which is 6 plus 3, so it's going to cost them £9. So the Lee family pays £9.